Shanghai two years ago. I don't know if it was two years ago or like three years ago or what it was, but a few years ago I made a video called Emma's Legendary Coffee Recipe, where I basically showed you how I made coffee at home using a lot of steps. There's actually a lot of steps in that video. I did a French press and then I put them, and then I put the hot French press coffee into mason jars, put the mason jars in the fridge. So that was my old coffee recipe. I don't feel like it's fair that I have not updated you on my ideal and favorite home coffee recipe currently because I have a new method. So here's to Emma's Legendary Coffee Recipe. Part two. I actually already had some, as you can see. So that's why there's like poo poo at the bottom of that. Step one, get ice. After you have a decent amount of ice, take your cold brew. Here's my cold brew. Pause. If you're like Emma, how do you make cold brew? Let me tell you. Where's my other big mason jar? Fuck. Why does this happen every time I film? So here's how I make my favorite cold brew of all time. I've never had better cold brew before. That's the damn truth. I'm gonna take three of these coffee bean bags. So basically these are almost like tea bags in a sense that have fresh coffee in them. They smell incredible. And I'm gonna put three of these into my mason jar. This packaging is renewable and compostable, so it's not wasteful, by the way. Once you have three of the steeped coffee bags in the mason jar, you're gonna fill it up to, I believe it's, it's like 600 milliliters. I'm not good at math, so anyway. Okay, so it looks like it filled it up to around 600 milliliters and or, how many cups is that? Two and a half cups, it looks like, although I can't really read that very well, so I don't really know. I lost all of my mason jar tops, toppers, so I use this, and I put it over top of the cold brew to kind of seal it, and then it looks like this, kind of like I'm growing like a succulent or something, but no, it's cold brew. Then I pop it in the fridge overnight, and then I have the best, most flavorful cold brew in all of America, in my opinion. After I have about this much cold brew in my cup, I like to do a lot of cold brew because I like my coffee pretty strong. Then I take these two ingredients. I have this vanilla almond milk and nut pod creamer, which I stopped using this for literally two years. Ever since I started drinking this cold brew, I've been using it again and it's great. So then you add a little bit of this. They also have different flavors of this too. It's probably good, I haven't tried it though. Mix. It's so good. It reminds me of my coffee recipe that I used to make when I was younger with the French press and all that, but it's better. If you're like, Emma, where am I supposed to find steeped coffee bags? That is something that I don't know where to find that because that's hard to find because it's not something that you just commonly see in stores. Um, I think I have your back. These are mine. I, these are, this is mine. We need to talk. We need to talk, because I think I have something that I have to explain. Before I explain why this has my name on it, let's talk about, what do we even want to talk about? What do I even talk about? I don't know how to make videos like this. This is something that I'm extremely proud of. Basically what it is, is it's a steeped coffee bag. It looks like this. This is the packaging. The packaging is renewable and compostable. It's eco-friendly. Basically it looks like a tea bag. It smells like fresh coffee. It smells incredible. I literally could smell this all day. I want to put one of these in my car, literally, because it smells so good. These bags are super versatile. You can make cold brew with them in the way that I showed you, or you can put them into hot water and make a hot cup of coffee. You can put it in for like five minutes, or if you're like me and you like your coffee, super strong. I put mine in for like 10 minutes when I do hot coffee, although I rarely ever drink hot coffee because why would I do that? And I'm super excited to be selling them on chamberlaincoffee.com for you guys to purchase if you'd like. This is one of the coolest things I think I've ever done because if you know me, you know that I've been passionate about coffee forever. There's so many reasons why. Like I love the flavor, I love the social element, I love the energy it gives you obviously, but I just think there's something about coffee to me that's so comforting and it's always been that way. But I've also always been really picky about coffee. I've never had an efficient way to bring coffee around with me when I'm traveling or an efficient way to make coffee at home that was actually really, really good. Like I've always struggled to make good coffee at home. Coffee either isn't flavorful enough or there's too many steps, so I don't wanna make the coffee. So then I end up going to a cafe instead and spending $7 on a latte. <laughs> and so my goal with this was to basically give everyone a way to make coffee easily that actually tastes good. Making coffee can be really 
complicated. If you're doing a French press, you have to have the grinder and then you have to pour it over. Or if you're using an espresso machine, you have to be cleaning the espresso machine and there's all this stuff. I almost said espresso and that would have been completely embarrassing. I said espresso, but it sounded like I said espresso and that would just ruin this whole video. Espresso. She made cool coffee. Great. Oh, but she said espresso? I'm not fucking buying it. Like this is some of the best cold brew I've ever had. And I've genuinely been drinking this every day for quite a while now and it's been really hard for me not to talk to you guys about it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I wanted to say. I'm really bad at doing videos where I just talk the whole time because I have not a good attention span and so I just kind of go all over the place and then I forget like everything I wanted to say. This is basically my first time ever creating a business in a sense or like creating a company and it was kind of an interesting process because it's something that I'd never done or pictured myself doing but it was a really really cool experience and so you know what let's talk about it a little bit. I won't go into all the gruesome, boring details. When it came to the name of the company, Chamberlain Coffee, the reason I wanted to name it kind of in a sense after myself is because I feel like coffee has always been a big thing in my family. I just wanted to keep the name simple. Chamberlain Coffee it is. And then when it came to figuring out the specific roast that I wanted to do, I learned a lot about where coffee is grown affects the flavors that is in the coffee and how, you know, mixing different roasts can create a new flavor and all this type of stuff. So I took some time to learn about that and I basically just did a big tasting. I just tasted a bunch of coffees, hot, cold, smelled them, and I just basically did process of elimination. I was like, well, I don't well, really I don't like this really one because of this and I don't really like this one because of this and I like this one because of this and then I don't like this one because of this. And after a few hours, we came up with this. The coffee has notes of chocolate, cherry, and nuts, which are some of my favorite things. I love chocolate, of course, because I'm not an idiot. I love cherry. I've always loved cherry flavored things. Although it doesn't like taste like cherries and it tastes like nuts because I love nutty coffee. That's my absolute favorite thing of all time. And it's a medium roast and it's delicious. This is my baby. Good night. You know? After tasting all the coffee, coming up with this exact roast, we designed the packaging, which I think turned out really, really cool. I'm obsessed with it. We decided we wanna do mugs, so we're gonna be selling mugs with this. You know, we made the website and now it's party time, basically. I'm just super excited that I was able to create this exact product. I feel like coffee is something I've always shared with my close friends and family. You know what I mean? Like it's something that I've always made very sacred with the people that I love in my life. Like going to get coffee with my family or friends or any loved one has always been something that's been so sacred to me or even making coffee with those people. You guys are very important people to me in my life. And so in a sense, this is our coffee bonding in a weird way because you're not here in my house with me to make coffee. Instead, we can be drinking the same cup. Do you know what I mean? I think that's kind of the cool. So if you're interested, chamberlaincoffee.com. You can follow the Instagram, it's Chamberlain Coffee. And I think that's basically it. I just wanted to I just threw up. I'm just so excited that I can finally share this with you. This is the most proud of something I've ever been. It's just really cool and it's something that I genuinely use every day. And coffee is just such a big part of my life and I'm just so, I need to shut up. I need to shut up. If you kind of want to know what makes this like special in a sense. Number one, this bag is nitro sealed, which keeps the coffee super fresh, which is important to me because flavorless coffee might as well be pee pee. You know what I mean? The coffee is also roasted in California. I and mean, I've actually been to the roasting, what do they call it, like a roasting room? <laughs> I've seen the process happen. It's just really cool to watch because they are really precise with it and I feel like they just do an incredible job. It's a very unique experience, I think, in comparison to most instant coffees, in a sense. Although, I don't feel like this is instant coffee. I don't even know how to explain it. Y'all just gotta try it if you want. I'm gonna shut up now. I've talked about everything. Okay, guys, I'm gonna need to leave you alone. I need to leave you alone so you can get back to your day. ChamberlainCoffee.com. Go check it out if you want. I love you guys so much. Thank you for always supporting me with everything that I do. And I hope that if you try this out, you enjoy it. And I hope that even if you don't try it out, you still have a bomb ass day. A bomb ass day. That's disgusting. I used to say that in like middle school. Like bomb ass day. Ugh. You know? Uh, anyway. All right. That's all. That's all I got to do. That's all I got to say. Okay. Good night. It's 11 a.m. Um, good morning? I don't know. Cheers.